Yes, a recent study that showed that uh, vitamin D had no effect whatsoever on breast cancer has set back research probably five or six months on the subject, but it will come back. The problem is they used 400 international units of vitamin D. Let's suppose that we had uh, someone who was starving, just absolutely starving, hadn't had food in a long time, so we say, okay, we're going to give you a peanut every day now. And we expect that to make a difference. It won't make a difference, it's too small, and every study that's been done with 400 international units of vitamin D as it, it relates to cancer and almost every other disease, it doesn't work. As I mentioned before, we can produce anywhere from 10 to 20,000 international units a day of vitamin D in the sun, and that's what we're meant to produce, is large quantities of vitamin D. And we expect 400 international units, one-tenth or even the one-fifteenth of that amount to make a difference absolutely impossible. If we need 5,000 international units a day, 400 isn't going to get it. And I cannot even believe that those researchers use 400 IU. It's been known for years that we need far more than that to make a difference in, in uh, any disease that we're studying. So we need to get up. When we hit 2,000 international units a day, we make dramatic differences.